Hey everybody, Jeff with Cup of the Camper. I mentioned a couple of videos ago that I'm putting in a mini blind on my front window here in the cab over. Those mini blinds came in a couple of days ago and I've finally got a little bit of time this evening to get started installing these things. So um, they're mini blinds that are for a skylight in a house. So I'm building some little brackets and uh, end pieces to go to make it fit properly in the cab over area. Um, you know, these cab over windows have a little slant to them. So you, has, you have to have a track and tension on the cords for the mini blinds to slide open and close uh, within that track. So I'm gonna get that figured out here and get these things installed, should be cool. So I just cut a couple of end pieces. These will just be uh, end pieces that go on the uh, sides of the the wardrobe cupboards there and then i've got some rails they're actually in the shop because i drilled some new holes in them and then i've got the mini blind um, and the tailpiece so you've got the headpiece and the tailpiece and then this uh, accordions out these are those cellular uh, types of blinds this is the dual the two cell um, i did kind of a medium gray to match our decor that's in the cab over area. So it should look pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and get these pieces drilled, uh, the, the pilot holes drilled and get these screwed into the cupboards. I need to find out where uh, to put, uh, to mount those pieces so it actually goes into some pine bracing back there uh, in the cupboard. So there's some little one by twos that are kind of above that light there and um, next to the wall or next to the the uh, front cap area, there's another one by two. So I get that, uh, I'm just using these, these Craig screws. These are the one and an eighth inch for uh, Craig jig, but these are great screws. I use them for everything. They've got, uh, you know, a pretty good size uh, head on them. So they, spread the load out a little bit, which is kind of nice. And they've got a nice rough or coarse thread on them. So they, they bite into wood really well. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get these things mounted and then I can get my rails up and then I can start stringing my cellular blind uh, into the track. So when you measure the blinds out on their website, um, you know, when you put the dimensions in the order, I, what I did was I just measured my window, which is uh, 16 inches, and then I added two inches to that because I knew I was going to go to the to the top side and the bottom side of the window ring, and I wanted to make sure that you know in, early in the morning or or uh, in the evening when the sun is shining right on the window that you know I didn't get a bunch of light leaking through the edges. So I wanted to have you know, a little bit extra uh, around the frame. So basically I just did, added two inches to it. You don't have to do that, but you know, I just figured that it would uh, just alleviate some of those other problems that we had with the curtains with, you know, light leakage. All right, so I've got my piece of poly mounted against the wall there, and then the lower piece or this little flap comes off. I'm not going to take it off because it's kind of hard to get it back in there, but there's two pre-drilled screw holes, one there and one there. So I just attached it to this piece of poly that I attached to the wall uh, with two screws. And the same thing over here. Um, there's two clips. You just screw those in. I've got a clip here and a clip here. Um, I screwed those in to this piece of poly and then the uh, the mini blind just clips into that. Uh, I haven't put my tracks in. I've got it. There's a track that goes for the top and a track that goes on the bottom. But basically, you just take your your blind and uh, you can pull it pull it closed, and it stays tensioned all the way across. Of course, without the track, it's sagging a little bit in the middle. I'm gonna get this track installed. All right, so these are the two tracks. I got a top and a bottom. They're both identical, so it doesn't matter which one goes where, but um, you know, this is 
designed to go in a uh, skylight, so a framed in skylight. So normally this flat piece, this backside here would screw in through the sheetrock into, you know, your two by four framing uh, in your skylight in your house. Um, and it comes pre-drilled. You got four holes that are pre-drilled. Um, but what I'm doing, since I'm doing this in a horizontal on a slanted surface, um, I've drilled four holes in this uh, lip. So you can see the profile of this. One side is, is uh, a little bit longer. So this side here is longer. You've got extruded aluminum out on this side where you don't on this side. Um, but I've, I've drilled a few holes here. You can get that, if I can get that to focus. Um, so I can screw this into, uh, the, the front cap wall just above the window frame. So this will actually get mounted. I'm going to do this without scratching my wall. Uh, about like that, a little bit lower actually, just so that, so it slides into that same track about like that and same with the lower just down in that area um, with the longer side on the bottom so the mini blind actually rides you've got these little these little gray pieces right here that are the glides and uh, that helps it glide along inside this channel all right so got it all mounted Everything fits pretty good. It rides on the on the glides really well. So this doesn't look real great with the metal up against it. That's not a big deal because I had planned on doing um, just like I did on these mini blinds for the windows. You know, just cover some vinyl. On, some, on a piece of quarter inch Baltic birch and then screw it to the top of that. So that's what I'll do here. So everything matches, but yeah, everything is uh, working properly. It closes and stays closed. That looks pretty good. Now after it's starting to get dark outside, but tomorrow I'll come back in here after I get the uh, these top pieces uh, cut and covered in vinyl uh, like these here. I'll uh, come back in in some better light and show you guys uh, the setup. But I really like it. I think it looks really good, and uh, it's definitely better than curtains. So you can see how I've got the vinyl covering here on this is my my cab window and uh, i'll just you know have have those top pieces match the same way all right cool well i'm actually really surprised that uh that that, that actually worked <laughs> um just because uh, i just had the idea that oh maybe a blind for a skylight will work and then i'll just frame it in and, uh, well, it actually worked. So I'm happy about that. And I like the way it looks. And uh, I'll leave all the information for these blinds in the description of the video below. And uh, you guys can check them out if you're interested in doing that for your uh, cab over front window. All right, so I've cut a couple pieces of quarter inch Baltic birch. Uh, I cut two pieces just because this is scrap and I didn't have a a 64 inch long piece. So I cut two 32 inch pieces. I'm going to cover these in the same uh, brown, uh, dark brown mocha vinyl that I did on the all the accent uh, pieces inside the camper. Get these covered and get them uh, installed on the top of the new mini blind. All right, so I'm just taking some of this this is left over from when I did the trim pieces a couple years ago when I did the remodel on the camper. Um, as some of you may know, I my my other business, 
that uh, is kind of my side business now, but it was my main business for oh, 22, 23 years, uh, was building guitar amplifier um, boxes, speaker boxes and guitar amplifier, uh, you know, head cabinets for tube amps and stuff like that. So I have just <laughs> a metric ton of old, of amp coverings. It's not old amp coverings, but it's just different types of amp coverings from tweed, uh, cloth tweed to, you know, all different types and colors of vinyl uh, Tolex. You know, I've got animal prints and all kinds of stuff. But anyway, um, I'm going to use the glue that I use for this is uh, the DAP Weldwood. This is a uh, contact adhesive for uh, Landau tops uh, for cars. It is the the best uh, solvent based adhesive that you can buy out there in my opinion. This is really great stuff. I buy it in five gallon jugs and um, I spray it with a uh, air compressor and a, one of those little um, air sprayers. So I'm going to get this stuff measured out. What I do is, these are my two pieces. I'll lay these pieces out and, um, you know, cut, rough cut, uh, about an extra uh, inch and a half or so uh, around. So these are two and a half inch by 32 inch by one quarter inch thick pieces of Baltic birch. I'll cut these strips at probably about... I don't know, six inches or so, um, just to have a little bit of overhang. So when I wrap it, when I spray the glue and and, and wrap it, um, there's a, a good bite on the back side uh, with with adhesive. And get that cut and sprayed, and uh, get get all these pieces bonded, and get them installed. I fear. All right, so I've let this glue kind of flash off for about 15 minutes, and it's uh, just barely tacky to the touch. Get these things bonded. All right, I'll let that stuff dry for about 15 minutes. All right, so that's how I cut the ends. All right, so there's some holes pre-drilled in the top of that mini blind channel. And I'm gonna put two screws in each panel. So two screws there, two screws there. I might drill another couple of holes, one there and one there, just right on the end, because that's a pretty good size gap between the two end screws. Um, we'll see how it looks. I might just throw another screw in there on each panel. All right, so I'm going to open up the blind. There we go. finish it off a little bit. All right. They don't hit and it's kind of finished off on the top. I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Nice to have a mini blind here instead of curtains. All right, so there it is. 
the finished product, the mini blind, cab over mini blind project is complete. I like it. Uh, all right, so let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments below of my mini blind project. I like it. Um, I'm going to put all the information on where I got the mini blind and uh, you know, all my tools and supplies and stuff in the description below. So uh, also, if you have any questions, leave me uh, some questions or comments in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. All right. We'll see you guys on the next video. Later.